Hey guys, it's Warren here, and I know what you're thinking, what's in the box? Well, this is the iRobot Roomba 980 series vacuum cleaner, which I'm gonna be reviewing. Now, I also make cooking videos on YouTube, so I'll be really interested to see how well this works in the kitchen, because despite my best intentions, I still usually leave a bit of a mess. I'm also gonna review how easy it is to set up, but most importantly, how good a job does it actually do at cleaning? Because I'm a gadget guy, and I know there's nothing worse than investing in something like this, to then find out that it later doesn't deliver. So, without further ado, let's unbox. Firstly, it's more compactly packed than I expected, which is good. So, you've got the 980 itself, plus a box full of accessories. And here's a quick sneak of the underside of the vacuum cleaner with a few safety tags in place, plus a reference manual and a quick start guide. You've also got the recharging station, which is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. Now, in terms of accessories, you get a spare side brush, a plug for the recharging station, a spare filter, and two virtual barriers with spare batteries as well. Okay, so I'm not really that much of an instruction manual kind of guy, so I'm hoping this is gonna be fairly easy to set up, but um, I guess we'll find out now. Uh, aha, quick start guide, perfect. And the good thing is, this quick start guide is only about five pages long, plus the vacuum cleaner does come with a partial charge, so the whole thing's really quick to set up and get going for the first time. And to get started, plug the home base charging station in and place the vacuum cleaner on top. Although I have since learned you need to position the station parallel to a wall, otherwise the vacuum cleaner will clean in a diagonal fashion. And to start a vacuuming cycle, you can do so by either pressing the clean button on top or by using the iRobot Home app. And the app's great because it means you can control the vacuum cleaner whether you're in the home or out and about because the 980 is connected with Wi-Fi, so as long as you're in coverage, you can start a cleaning cycle wherever you are. It also has a camera on top, which helps it navigate around the home, plus it means it can see objects as they approach, as to not bump into them too hard. The 980 also does a really good job at moving between surfaces and up small ledges whilst vacuuming. Also, it will increase or decrease its suction depending on what surface it's on. For example, for a carpet it would increase its power and for a wooden floor it would use less. The 980 also navigates around table and chairs well. Although it does bump into the legs quite often, it does so gentle enough as to not damage anything. If you need to move the vacuum cleaner around, for example to do upstairs, it does have a handle on it so it can be moved anywhere. And another great feature, it knows where the stairs are, which means on its approach it will stop itself tumbling down. So another feature of the vacuum cleaner are these. The Roomba 980 came with two of them and we saw it when we were unboxing it. They have two modes. One of the modes is a virtual wall mode. So if you've got a room, for example, that you don't want the vacuum cleaner going into, you'd put it into that first mode, put it by the door of that room, and the vacuum cleaner will never go past it. The second mode is like a protective two foot radius mode. So if you've got a valuable item like a vase or my telescope that I got off my birthday last month, you'd put it into that second mode, put it right by it, then you're safe in the knowledge knowing that the vacuum cleaner won't go within two feet and be bumping into it. Now, let's talk about the features of the Home app. You can start, pause and end cleaning jobs wherever you are and also instruct the vacuum cleaner to return to its charging base. You can change settings like whether you want the edges done or not for a quicker clean. It also logs each cleaning job that's been done and provides loads of stats like the amount of square foot cleaned plus a map showing where the vacuum cleaner's been with extra analysis per cleaning job. How cool is that? You can also set up schedules via the app. So for example, if you wanted the vacuum cleaner to clean on a Monday and a Friday at specific times, it's easy to set through the app and you'll be notified when a cleaning job's being completed. Finally, you can find care information with step-by-step -step guides on how to maintain the various parts of the Roomba 980. So, let's take a closer look at the robot itself. It has a 35cm diameter and weighs just under 4kg. It has a pair of chunky rugged wheels and two AeroForce extractors, plus a spinning side brush which really helps the vacuum cleaner get right up to those edges, corners and under furniture. The 980 has bumpers all around that are rubber lined on the bottom to ensure it doesn't cause any damage, as well as that camera on top to help it navigate the home. It also has indicators, for example, when the bin is full. Emptying the vacuum cleaner is also easy to do and it seems to compact quite a lot of dirt into quite a small cartridge. And yes, shamefully, that's the amount of dust in my house. And I tend to have to empty it every three cleans. 
and for the room I spend most of my time in, the kitchen. The 980 adapts well to the tile surface, plus it's the perfect height to run right up against the plinths under the cupboards. The side brush does a great job at picking up all the bits and it's gentle when bumping into the appliances. And after a cleaning cycle, it manages to find its way back to its charging station, redock and recharge its battery, which it can also do mid-cycle. However, the proof is in the pudding. How good is it actually at cleaning? And honestly, it does a really, really good job. The only downsides I found are, if you've got a thick carpet, it will leave a lot of tire tracks. However, these will disappear when you walk over them. And obviously it can't do the stairs, but that's fair enough. My honest opinion before I started using the Roomba 980 is that it's small, so it's not going to be very powerful, plus it's just going to be a bit of a gimmicky gadget. However, iRobot have come up with a solution for all the reasons I thought the Roomba 980 wouldn't work, like going up to the edges, having good suction power and adapting to its surroundings, to make it really clever and most importantly a really effective and time-saving household gadget. It's still useful to keep a handheld for things like stairs and skirting boards, however the Roomba 980 has still proved to be a great addition for the home. Now if you found this review video useful, remember to give it a thumbs up, and you can check out more of my videos by clicking on one of the videos appearing on screen.